Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Let me welcome with no further ado, Paul Marcarelli and the legendary Carol Kane. Tonight we're at the Cinema Arts Center and we're having another special guest star. Carol Kane, and she gives only very rarely an appearance. So we're very lucky to have her tonight with Paul Marcarelli, who's the screenwriter of uh, the new film that she's in, Clutter. Honey, Charlie, is a car? Nice, Ma. Well, Clutter is a drama starring Carol Kane about a compulsive hoarder and her complicated relationships with her grown children. So, where's the trash? We're sitting on it. I don't actually have a hoarding background, and no one in my family is a hoarder, so it's not autobiographical in that respect. You know, I, I think I've spent a lot of time thinking about stuff and the meaning we attach to stuff, and about uh, our relationship with physical things, often at the expense of our relationships with people. Look, everybody has the junk drawer somewhere in their house that they're ashamed of. It's that dark little corner um, that's not dealt with, uh, figuratively and literally. How long did you shoot the film? What was the shooting schedule? Uh, 17 and a half days. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's it, good thing I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you have rehearsal beforehand? We didn't. We had a, we had a table read. Um, and then the next day we began shooting. So it was pretty grueling. It was pretty grueling. There were days when we covered in a day what a feature film uh, with a real budget would cover in um, you know, two weeks' time. Clutter was shot entirely on Long Island. We, sh we spent most of our uh, time in uh, North Woodmere. We found our principal house there, which was completely empty and for sale. And through some kind of amazing kismet, they let us hoard the entire place. So it was stuffed from floorboards to rafters with um, all kinds of collectibles and trash and garbage. And, you know, bit by bit, we cleared it out over the course of the film. Did you see? Did you see all the people out in the yard? We knew we wanted someone for the role of Linda that had a very specific artistic sensibility. We wanted someone whose uh, form of creative expression was utterly singular, and of course we found that in Carol. Immediately we couldn't imagine anyone else in that role. Was there improvisation on the set? There, there was some. There was some. There was um, some, but not, I mean, you know, the thing is when the script is really good, um, you don't necessarily need to go far away from it. When a script is beautifully written, sometimes you feel as though you're watching the movie when you read it. And that's kind of how I felt about this particular script. And the role is extraordinary because, you know, it's very three-dimensional and very specific, very unusual person that I'd never... Um, I'd never met anybody like her, and um, I felt that I understood why she needed to save things. You're never coming back. You ain't in here, and I know it. If I don't think that I can make a character real, then I, I'm not interested. I think we think of hoarders as, um, you know, people that are just not clean and just can't make a decision to throw throw things out, but we don't, we don't understand the emotional need to, to keep things instead of whatever the, um, the loss is in a person's life. Or you keep the things that you can get a hold of because you can't keep people and you can't stop time. This is for Carol Kane. You've done a lot of work. I absolutely love Taxi, especially when Simba gets her green card. Thank you. <laughs> Although Carol Kane works in a public medium, she prefers to keep any details of our personal life private. There's nothing I wish them to know about me except what they see on screen <laughs> or on stage. 
We're not just selling houses, Penny. We're creating places for people to store their dreams. You can rent Clutter on Demand, uh, certainly on Fios On Demand. Check us out on iTunes and Amazon and um, Netflix. Uh, Netflix, I think, comes later. Yeah, Netflix comes later.